Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super exciting video. I wanted to share with you my top podcasts for that I enjoy and that I think any girl like in their 20s, early 30s, early 20s, college, our like age group would love and enjoy. I've got something for everybody, something for people who are settled down, who are still living the single life. Whatever you are doing, I've got a podcast for you. 2020 for me has definitely been like the year of podcasts, specifically because I got my dog and I take him on long walks every single day and I pop in a podcast. So I have discovered all my podcasts this year actually and I've had multiple friends ask me for my favorites because everyone is try starting to get into podcasts. I also made a TikTok on this and it did really well. Everyone was giving me new podcasts to listen to. So if I don't mention one that you love, please let me know in the comments because I am always looking for new things to listen to on my walks. But I made a little list. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven podcasts for you guys. And then I have who made them and like why I love them. So like I said, I've got something for everybody. I'm gonna go through this list. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. It means the absolute world to me and leave a comment down below. I love to talk with you guys. I'm about to have a heat stroke. Okay, so let's get started. Some of these you guys are definitely gonna have heard of before and some of these hopefully will be new to you. But first one I have is Gals on the Go. This is with Daniel, Carolyn, and Brooke Michio. They are both YouTubers here on YouTube, pretty large YouTubers. And I just love this podcast. I think it's great for someone. It's great for like two different demographics, post-grad and graduating college. And then obviously they're gonna be aging. But basically I love that it's a little dynamic duo. Brooke is in New York City, she's post-grad. Danielle is in Georgia, still in college. She's a senior, so she's about to graduate. And I know they recently had some drama, but I think it's pretty obvious on their podcast they're making a conscious effort to be a little bit more inclusive and spread more awareness on certain issues. And it's basically just two girls navigating life. They have really good banter. It's not a funny podcast, but I found a lot of really great products from their podcast. They always give like tips every week. And I just find them really relatable. Like these, of all the podcasts, I think these are girls that I would be friends with. So that's why I love listening to them just talk to each other. So I thought for everyone, I'd pull up some recent episodes so you guys can kind of see what they're all about. Last episode was a very merry episode. They kind of talked about the holidays, their holiday traditions with their families. Before that was what college is really like, dating friends, comparing yourself, and confidence. This was with Audrey Trulinger, which is a big girl on TikTok. So they do have guests sometimes, which is really awesome. And then the one before that was how to thrift like a pro and small business advice. So as you can see, they have all different kinds of things, college, business, lifestyle, and that's why their podcast was my number one podcast this year. I think I listened to every episode they dropped. The next one I have for you is The Real Real with Natalie Barbu. She has a really great variety of guests on this podcast and she's really good at keeping the conversation going. I would consider this a super motivating podcast. She brings guests on every week and they talk about how they made it to success. So she has anywhere from boutique owners to app developers to college students. I love the variety of guests because it kind of teaches you that you don't have to follow some straight and narrow path that everyone thinks you have to follow. All these people talk about their journey to success and it's not a straight shot. And Natalie is just super good at keeping the conversation going. So I find this, if I am needing a little bit of motivation, I will pop on this podcast. And it just makes me wanna work really hard. Like her last one with this boutique owner was so inspiring to me because she failed, you know, like she failed a lot before she succeeded and now she's huge. So let's look at her past few episodes. So her last one was starting an inclusive beauty company, inclusivity and diversity in the beauty company. And this was with Pothos Beauty. I haven't listened to this one yet. The one before that was starting a clothing store, the reality of starting a business and how TikTok can change your life with Emily Harris. Loved that episode. And the one before that was a, a solo episode, which she doesn't do often, but adjusting to living back at home with your parents, family dynamics, and why I don't plan for the future anymore. So when she does do a single episode, Natalie just moved back to Charlotte from New York City. She's a post-grad. She does, has a small business, a consulting type company, and so she's really motivational herself when she does do her own solo episodes. So the next one I have for you guys is called High Key Adulting by Jada Jones. I love this because she's another one who took like a non-traditional path. She's pursuing acting, she didn't go to college, and she's 18 or 19 now, I think. And I just love her story, and I think she's so fun and she's so easy to listen to. The podcast just feels super personal, and she has a lot of really great guests, and she's really good at keeping the conversation going. She's super lively and bubbly and fun. 
so her podcast is just like a new perspective for me i like to listen to so here are some of her last podcasts this one's called all about angel numbers what are they and what they mean which has been super popular lately so if you're interested in that go check out that episode before that was tower 28 beauty the sensitive skin makeup brand that stands for everything you stand for with amy lou so again just another really motivating, has really great guests. Jada is amazing. And I think if you are like a little bit younger than me as well, just because Jada is a little bit younger than me, then that would be a really good demographic for you. Next one is Thick and Thin by Katie Bilotti. I love Katie Bilotti. She recently moved from New York City to LA. She just has such like a calming demeanor about her. Like I could like meditate to her podcast. I could just fall asleep in the best way because she's so calming and relaxing to me. She's like a graphic designer, blogger. She doesn't have guests a lot. Um, mainly her podcast preaches about self-love and self-acceptance and just like a lot of cool trendy topics and I just feel like her podcast is like a poem like it's so like artistic and beautiful and I really enjoy listening to it so a couple of her most recent episodes are the truth and myth of the white wedding bathtub gin speakeasies and the American right to drink and one that I really enjoyed recently was being your own lover so she definitely preaches a lot of self-love. She's self-employed, she offers a lot of advice and talks about history and all of her like life epiphanies and life advice she gives in her podcast. And I really like her. It's hard, I think, to have a podcast by yourself because especially when you don't have guests on because it's like, wow, I must have a lot to talk about, but she does a really great job of keeping you engaged. Okay, next one is a little different. This one is called Couple Things with Sean Johnson and Andrew East. They are a like celebrity couple kind of, and I like this podcast because they're like an older married couple. I say older, they're probably like in their late 20s, early 30s, and they just had a baby and I really look up to them as a couple. I think they're really raw and honest. It just gives you a real expectation of like what the future could look like for you. They also always have amazing celebrity guests that are couples. They had Caitlin, Bristow, and Jason on there, which I love them. And so I just find if you're in a relationship, it's a really good podcast and it's funny. They don't leave anything out. They talk about their fights and I just think it's a really real and good podcast to listen to. Some of their last episodes were Lauren DIY and Jeremy Lewis. They had on there and they had an episode about trying for a second baby. They had Jessica and Cody Nixon, how baby changed our marriage. Jana Kramer and Mike Cawson, tough times during pregnancy. So for me, it's like a what my future is gonna look like and I love listening and just kind of like getting that idea a little bit rather than a lot of the other podcasts are currently motivating for me versus motivating for the future. Okay, next one is Girls Gotta Eat. I know a lot of people have heard about this one. This is with Ashley Heseltine and Raina Greenberg. I never knew their last names, but it's basically a comedy podcast and they talk about sex, relationships, dating. All of that good stuff it's hilarious if you're single i think you'd really like it they have a really great banter about them and it's just a really well done podcast and it's funny but not raunchy like some other podcasts that can be raunchy i don't think theirs is raunchy it's funny and it's relatable and it's so real they're like older still late in the dating scene and it's just really funny so here are some of their most recent episodes the truth about marriage and motherhood featuring cat and nat choosing to be child free date by your own rules do you know why you're dating? Go up and show up. So as you can see, it's just like really good like dating advice and it's comical. So if you're in for a good laugh, that would be a good one for you. Last but definitely not least is How to Fail with Elizabeth Day. So she always has guests on this podcast and they basically talk about how they failed, which I love. So they get on there and they talk about how many failures they had and what those failures were before they were able to reach success, which I think is really real and really raw and something we all need to hear at this age when we think I need to be successful by 23. Some of her most recent episodes are How to Fail miniseries, Rebecca Anderton Davis, How to Fail miniseries, Basil Deep. So she just has a really a lot of really great inspiring guests on there. And she has people of all ages too. Like I think at one point she had someone who was like 80 years old on there who obviously had a lot of failures to talk about, which is really inspiring and gives you a lot of really great advice. So I think every girl in their 20s should listen to that one. Okay guys, so that is all of my favorite podcasts that I enjoyed for this year. Let me know if you check them out. Let me know if I missed any because I am always looking for a new podcast. My top this year, I think were Gals on the Go, The Real Real, and High Key Adulting with Jada Jones. Definitely super great podcast. I highly suggest you check them out. Tell them I sent you, leave them a review. I know it means a lot to them. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and if you got something out of it. And I will see you guys so very soon in my next one. Bye, guys.